Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, June 9th, and this video comes to you in two parts. Part one, composer profiles. So as everyone knows from my first video, I went to uh, school for uh, music education. I don't know why I continue to reference that video so much. Maybe because everything about me is in that video and I just go to it because I know everything is there. But anyway, composer profiles are going to take place every Friday this summer, starting June 20th. 2019th, whatever that Friday is, I think, we're gonna start then. So yeah, it's pretty much gonna be me talking about composers that I think are interesting, so it's gonna be very boring. I'm gonna try to not to make it boring. I'm really gonna try to not make it boring. I don't know how I'm gonna try, but I'll try. I mean, I'll try to find some interesting music to play, or to not play. Part two, good music to listen to. And by good music, I don't mean pop music. Though some of that music is good. I mean, some of it is, not all of it's bad but I'm mainly talking about music, classical music, and classical kind of Baroque. So I was thinking today about my favorite pieces of music that I've played or that I've heard since I've been in college, because you know I'm a musician. And I thought of a list of a couple that maybe you would find interesting. So I will put links to recordings of all of these pieces in the description below so you can listen to them. Some of them are very interesting, some of them are very out there, some are long, some are short. So let's dive into it now. Children's March by Percy Aldridge Granger. Great piece for band. Great to listen to, very funny to listen to, very kind of out there, kind of pokey funny kind of thing. Lincolnshire Posey, also by Percy Granger. Percy Granger, by the way, will be the first composer profile that we have on June 19th. He's kind of an easy one to talk about because he was fairly recent, recent as in the early 20th century. Frank to Kelly's arrangement of Ave Maria. The recording is down there. There's so many different Ave Maria recordings, but the one by Frank DiKelly is my favorite. Trumpet Tune by John Stanley for the organ. Are you shocked? I'm not. Continuing with the organ, we have Dance Macabre by Camille Saint-Saëns. Then we have two Bach organ pieces. We have Yezu Joy of Man's Desiring, which I'm sure everybody has heard. And then we have the Fugue in G minor, which I know everybody has heard. Concerto for Alto Saxophone and Wind Ensemble by David Mislanka, which I played the first movement on my senior recital. I will not give you my recording of that because it is awful. Second Suite in E-flat by Gustav Holst. And continuing on the Gustav Holst trend, we have Jupiter from the Planets, which I know most of you have heard the hymn thing through that, so just listen to the thing below. Last three, we have Rite of Spring by Igor Stravinsky, Man in Veen by Haydn Wood, and finally, the only vocal piece on this list, we have Arise Shine by Dan Forrest. Wonderful piece of uh, choral literature. The link below is actually my college's concert choir singing that. I know some of you may be thinking there's no like techno instrumentation kind of techno pop kind of thing. Well, guess what? I like that music too. I like all kinds of music except rap and heavy metal but to each their own, right? I encourage you all to listen to music like this. Some of this music is very good for its time, and it's still good, it's still played today. A lot of it is still played today. So give these pieces a listen. I will greatly appreciate any and all other pieces that we link to below in the comment area if anybody wants to comment. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. I will see you all tomorrow.